So I'm hopeful that you can hear me now. Devin says progress. I hope the progress is that there is audio. Um, I can see the still 10 people uh, in the room. That means that half of you have left, and so you should. Time, you know, life's too short for sitting and waiting for um, no technical issues. And yes, it will be recorded. Evelyn can hear me. That's good. Evelyn, um, where were you again? Because I, I saw I saw your, your chat. You know, I've been following the chat here over the past uh, 17 minutes. I know that we've got, or at least we had people in Norway, um, in Hawaii, and in this uh, webinar, we'll also have um, testimonials. Let me just uh, switch the camera on, see if that works. Yeah, there I am. And we are now streaming via my iPhone. So we're no longer relying on Telstra. We're just streaming this over the phone. And the good thing about Australia's internet is that we have the fastest broadband over the phone of our 4G. So I'm relying on that. Crossing fingers. Thank you guys for hanging in there uh, while I was trying to sort this mess out because I can guarantee you it was an absolute mess. It's never been this tricky uh, before. And it means that next time I will have to do some rehearsing again. Change all the time. All right, so let's be fast. Let's get into this quickly. Uh, we should have students from not just over, all over the world, but from all over immersion from different groups. So let me know in e the chat um, where you are from in the world and which immersion group you belong to. One, two, th three, or four. We have a few brand new students, I think, on the call. So where are you from and what immersion group do you belong to? Um, okay. Thank you so much, Joe, for holding the fort and um, you know keeping us entertained and informed. And also, thanks for Tom for joining me on this call, uh, helping out with questions. So we've got Melanie in Canberra, Trevor in Melbourne, the Russian in Sydney, Kathinka in Norway, Thames in Immersion Two, and I think that's Canberra. Deborah in Sydney, uh, Devon in Toronto, near Toronto. Sarah in Sydney and uh, Krishna in Melbourne. Oh, now I've got another pop up on my screen. It just keeps surprising here. Nolene, welcome on the call, Nolene. We're going to talk about that um, event, uh, the boot camp that we did together. Mark is in Melbourne. Evelyn is in Sweden looking for a buddy. In Sweden, it's, I think it's now um, 20 past 1 a.m. Is that correct? I think it is. Good. We're going to have a quick chat about Immersion 4, what to expect, um, what to do, what not to do. Uh, a short intro into what is coming up for reverse screenwriting. There's a few things going to change there. And I'll tell you a little bit about what comes after uh, Immersion and the script workshop, the cave story workshop that we did two weeks ago is um, one of the options and hopefully you'll be joining for one of those at some point and there'll there'll be some advanced webinars that you need to have completed uh, immersion for before you can take part in those um, i used to do those i did those in the first half of the year but then since the first of july i've been dedicating most of my time to immersion but that's going to change we're going to do some of those advanced webinars soon again good all right, so Immersion 4, it should all have been fairly straightforward. And from what Joe and Katara reported to me, that has been the case. So most of you have gently rolled into your first screenplay. That was Breaking Bad, the pilot episode of Breaking Bad. And we did have some requests for more scripts, but there is... There's a reason we, we drip feed them. We release them once every five days because we don't want you to run ahead. It's not about completing this thing as quickly as possible. It is about building a routine, building a steady routine. And you know, for that, you just pace out or space out your work. Uh, an important point that I'd like to mention, thanks, Joe, for bringing that up. Uh, on the Facebook groups, we talk about our scripts. 
that's what these you know, the, the groups are for. We can talk about our experiences. We can also talk about specific screenplays, but we want to keep the fun for people who haven't made it to the script that we're reading yet. And for that, we're going to use a system with spoilers. So when you post on Facebook, start with your, your top line with saying, you know, script number X spoiler. And then you go down a few um, returns, you put dots or whatever to force Facebook, uh, you know, number of lines down. And then you can write whatever you want to say about that script a little bit further down. So, uh, yeah, avoid the spoilers warn your fellow students when you're going to talk about a script in particular. We have a whole page with frequently asked questions. You'll find that in the menu if you go to the, the course website at the top. Just uh, find the frequently asked questions. If you have a question that has not been answered in that list, please check with your buddy first. That's the order. So first your buddy, then the angelfish. Um, and uh, then if, if you still don't have an answer after two days, you can contact me via direct message as well. But I'd say, yeah, your buddy maybe then post it in the group, then to the angelfish. But there'll be questions obviously later in this webinar. I'm hoping to wrap up in about 20, yeah, 20 minutes. I'd like to finish 15 minutes before the hour. Well, let's have a look at um, one of the testimonials. In fact, Russell from Melbourne, uh, I think he's on the call. We, we did, a, I did an interview with him a few weeks ago. It's almost a month, if, if not yeah, more. And we didn't have, I didn't have the time to edit it. So I've got three testimonials today. One from Russell in Melbourne, one from Jesse in uh, Germany, and one from Tracy in New Zealand. Well, let's listen to Russell first. Russell was, I think, in immersion osmosis, the first stage when this was recorded in the meantime i think he's moved on he might be in um, reverse screenwriting already but this is his experience soon after he started um osmosis so this is interesting for the immersion four students um i had a mentor for a while online a lady by the name of maya uh, you may or may not have heard of her um she's in a number of writing uh, groups on the, on the internet uh, so she mentored me for a little while um, but also I have a friend who was an actor and a director in Australian uh, television and, and movies and that's how I actually got on to David Hannay um, and Alistair sort of said you know look don't when, when you you know when you're trying to sell a script as, as it's your first script don't try and pre-guess what the director should do and for example when I first started writing the synopsis I was basically writing what was happening in an abbreviated form and you know it, it read like a bad 50s detective novel um, so I then had to sort of completely change my paradigm and go back and say, all right, what have I got to do here? There's parts of this where there's two pages of exposition. Now, I don't need to say exactly what he's doing for that exposition. I just need to summarise that exposition. So I had to sort of, you know, change that mindset. Uh, I've got a collection of them. Um, give me a second. Uh, where are they? Down under documents under there. Um, what have I read? I've read how to, how to Train Your Dragon. Um, I've read, well, where are they? Um, I've actually downloaded all the scripts you had there to, so that I can look at them all. Uh, I've read Ocean's Eleven. I've read Pirates of the Caribbean, the 2003 version. Um, I've read Top Gun, I've read The Elephant Man, um, When Harry Met Sally, X-Men. Yeah, so, uh, you know, a whole pile of scripts that I managed to download off Scriptorama. Uh, what am I expecting to get out of it? Uh, better understanding of what I'm doing better technical skills at it 
at particular things like writing the synopsis, writing the log lines, uh, hopefully improved uh, dialogue, um, and potentially some contacts that may be able to help me uh, get something up on the, you know, uh, actually up on a screen, be it a television or a movie theatre. Yes, so in the collection of screenplays, there may be some scripts that are not entirely to your taste. And I apologize about that, but you may learn, you may see that you actually learn more from those than from the ones you enjoy. Because, you know, reading the scripts is partially a conscious and an unconscious experience. You know, you, you, you read it and you, you go into the story, but at the same time, you're also picking up certain things that you notice because you're aware that you are reading a script rather than just enjoying a story. Um, now, I noticed that some of you are still looking for buddies and um, there are still students joining on a daily basis early in the course. And I, I would imagine that's still going to happen for a few more days. Uh, Evelyn, yeah, you're looking for a buddy still. You're in Europe, in Sweden. Anyone else here on the call looking for a buddy? Now, Joe and Katara and Emma are your go-to people. Um, we call them the angel fish because that sounds better than the um, peer educators, which is effectively the technical term. So anyone in need for a buddy, contact these uh, angel fish. That's Emma McKenna, Joe Bellew, Katara Jade, um, and I am forgetting, Kathink, yeah, Kathinka is, help, is happy to help as well. And Tom, of course. So that was Russell. Um, so reverse screenwriting, we have, we've got over 50 people. And I am super excited about that because at some point, it looked as if people were struggling with uh, the workload. And I was concerned that some of you might drop out because of that. But the pledges seem to work. The pledges pull you through, they push you, uh, they keep you going. So over 50 people in reverse screenwriting, transcribing one of the 20 films. And um, it seems that so that goes really fast. That goes really well. Now, in, I don't know whether I've mentioned this before, but it was my initial intention to give you two scripts to transcribe over the 50 days of this stage. The first script you choose yourself from the list of 20 and the second script would be a mandatory screenplay. But because you were struggling, because some of you were struggling in um, osmosis in the first stage, I decided to give you a break and only make it one script. But some people have already asked me for more work. So if you want a second screenplay, you will get it. Now that will be a mandatory script. Okay, so if you're approaching the end of your first transcription, your, your first reverse screenwriting exercise, then let us know. We will offer you the option to do another one, but we're not going to tell you which one that is. And it's going to be the same one for everyone. So we, we pick a script that is worth transcribing or a film rather and make that film available. But you need to commit to it before we give it to you. So there's an element of suspense there. and you. The pledges stay valid. So if you go into that, there's no pulling back. You know, it sounds like a threshold. It's like going into the second half of Act Two, and that was our, that was the whole idea. You know, that there is kind of like a three act structure to uh, immersion, where you have the first uh, the setup with reading the script. It's the first act, and you you you're actually writing. You're writing a script in the second act. Uh, and then in the second half of the second act, you're tested on a script that, of a movie that you don't know uh, or may not know. Okay. And so if you're willing to do that, that is an option. Just let us know. Now, there is another thing you need to do. And I've already mentioned that I was going to give you some questions to prepare for your creative screenwriting, the final stage. Um, we decided that we had a chat yesterday katara and joe and emma and me about exactly that second stage and um rather than just giving you questions i think it'd be handy for you to write a, a, some sort of letter of intent you know you've done your reports about the scripts or you are doing your reports in osmosis 
Now you're going to write something similar about the screenplay that you're going to be writing at the end of the course. So you, ra- you write a, a, a statement of intent of what that script needs to be. And that can be as detailed as you want it to be, it can be as vague as you want it to be. You can make that a summary of the story. You can talk about the tone. You can talk about the emotion you want to feel or you want the people who read it to feel or the viewers of the movie. So really, it's all about getting elements together that will help you write that script. That is one thing that you must have before you start, and it's the ending, okay? You must not start creative screenwriting the third stage until you know how your script is going to end. So that's another thing you need to start thinking about if you don't already know uh, what you want to write. So depending on how much time you have left until the end, if you're, comple- if you're in immersion one and you're completely on track, it means that you've got another 25 days to complete this second stage. Now, this statement of intent, you need to deliver five days before the end of the stage. And we want you to start thinking about that halfway. So 15 days before. So around 15 uh, November, 15 or 16 November, We want you to start thinking and writing your um, statement of intent about the the script you're going to write in the final stage. And you can do that while you're still transcribing, while you're doing your second second, film and script, or you can dedicate your time uniquely to that. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll issue more specific instructions in a few days on the, on the, the site, on Facebook and or the course site. Emma asks, what if your ending changes while you're writing? Well, that happens. That happens. Now, there is, um, there's a trick to test that ending, and it is write the synopsis. Don't know, we were kind of adults. We were kind of, you know, we, not all in consensus about that last night, whether you should write the synopsis or not. I think, Emma, you weren't entirely sure about that either. But if your ending changes, it means the whole story changes. And I find the synopsis a good test to see whether you're ready to write that, uh, that screenplay. But leave that optional. But yes, your ending may change while you're writing. Obviously, that, that, that uh, is possible and likely to happen in some cases. Good. I have another testimonial coming from Jesse. I don't think she's on the call because she's, she's in Germany. It's now 1.30 there in, at night and she's got two babies, two little children. Um, but anyway, she can see it in the replay. That was recorded a few weeks ago as well. And um, yeah, she shares with us what she's gotten out of the course and also what attracted her to immersion in the first place. Let's load it first. And here we go. What's good about it is that it's really intuitive and you're supposed to leave it alone. You're not supposed to overthink it. And I can look at the script and say, hey, what's it doing to me? What do I fear? What am I learning? I mean, the reports we're writing is what am I learning? As opposed to having to look, hey, okay, this shot, that shot, you know, what's this character think? Okay, I'm still thinking what's this character thinking, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it. You know, I'm just letting it happen. I'm just taking it in and I can just enjoy the ride, which is quite lovely. I think the most valuable bit that I consciously want from this course is is the habit. It's really integrating a time for writing, reading, or maybe something else, but particularly reading and writing at this stage into my life, finding how it fits in. And I think that's the most, most valuable aspect and I think that's also what's stopping most people from achieving. They have the dream, they have the drive, the talent, if you will, and they can't integrate it. They don't find the time. So that's a conscious thing and there will be many, many more advantages, I'm sure. I think so. Now I'm in a funny position that up till about now, now it's starting to happen. Up till about now I could not make one full solid hour just having the two kids and there's interruptions everywhere. So I could only make about half hour blocks, 40 minute blocks and just try to splice it together. So it makes about an hour. 
and it, it started to work in the beginning. I was cheating a bit, I admit. I was reading scripts over also because I just didn't want to put it down. No. But now I'm actually able to stay within the time frame of this is my writing time, my 15 minutes, and this is my doing other things time. And I also don't feel the urge so much to worry or think about it in between, which I used to do like, oh man, I need to rewrite this, I need to rewrite that. Did I say this right? So yes, it's really getting there. Well, what I did and I checked back with you many times to make sure I wasn't wrong, was to, in my mind, you know, stop thinking I have to write a really good synopsis, a really good logline, or even a proper one. But in my mind, I renamed it to saying, okay, attempt a synopsis, attempt a logline. I, I think it's possibly better because this way I didn't feel the pressure. And I felt, okay, make the time to read, to write, summarize within the time frame and see what happens let it go time let it go move on and work for long. there's jesse she could be um oh, where's my camera going? okay she could be sigourney weaver's cousin all right we've got one testimonial to go but first let's look at the questions because i think we had a few more questions oh yeah karen had a question and emma answered that thank you uh 50 days to do reverse screenwriting all by the way all your timings uh guys this is for the new students in immersion four the system is set up in a way that everything counts from the moment you bought the course you know the moment you start you enrolled is when the clock started ticking so five days after that, the second uh, uh, script is being released, 10 days, the third script, and so forth. And 100 days after you start it, you'll get access to reverse screenwriting. So if you get behind, the scripts still get released, um, which means well, you, the only requirement is that you need to complete the, the previous course. So you can catch up. That's possible. So say, say you're three scripts behind and you work hard for a week and you catch up. That's possible. As long as you finish a script, you have access to the next one. But then the, the earliest you will get it is X amount of days after your start. So you can work out when that is. Um, and yeah, so 100 days for osmosis, 50 days for reverse screenwriting, and 30 days for creative screenwriting. I also remind you of my offer that I made uh, to a uh, group one that I will read all your log lines. So when you write your own screenplay, creative screenplay, uh, screenwriting script, I will read your log line. If I like your log line, I will read your first page. And I will read, and, and, and I made a promise to the first group that I would read one full length uh, feature script and 10 uh, first pages. You know, base of those first pages I would read on. And I want to continue that for each group. So now that you have a bigger chance, Immersion, Immersion 4 only has currently, I think, about 30 students, so you have a great chance to get read. Any other questions, post them in the chat box with uh, the, the question mark to go with it. Okay, good. Um, the boot camps, the story caves so once you've got a screenplay you want it read and you can have it read by your friends or your you know boyfriend or your mother uh, or you can have it read by professionals there are tons of services in the world um, where you can pay money to get your script read i do that for a living as well so you can send your script to me there's a i also offer an entry level service called story doctor where um, two experienced readers read on my behalf and you pay a little bit less. But the, the bee's knees, the top, uh, the VIP treatment is the story cave where we retreat for four days to a nice place and work through your story and your scenes. And we did that two weeks ago for the first time in O'Connell near the Blue Mountains here in Australia and I'm planning to do this many more times we're going to do at least two more in Australia next year but we're also talking about traveling the world um, 
I see Julian has lo just logged in from Wellington. There's a few people in Wellington. Um, I think uh, Trace, Tracy, who's testimonial, you'll see in a minute, she's from near Wellington. I will be in Wellington next weekend. And I'm also planning on doing a story cave in Wellington at some point. So if you're in New Zealand or you want to travel to New Zealand, maybe that's an opportunity to combine, um, you know, work and pleasure, do a story cave and visit the Lord of the Rings sets or, or locations. So uh, we're talking about Bali. I'm going to Europe again next year, going to Sweden, going to Gotland. And there are quite a few immersion students in Scandinavia. So it may, be, it may make a lot of sense to organize. So, um, so that's all, you know, itchy to write your screenplays. Um, the meetups, yeah, there, there are meetups all over the world. We've got a meetup here in Sydney. If you're local, we meet about as films and about once a month to works, uh, workshop your scripts. And uh, the, the link I'll post in the immersion group. So if you're in, in the neighborhood, you can sign up and there is always uh, uh, meetups about screenwriting elsewhere in the world. Gabriel has a question. Just for clarification, we're transcribing one script one page per day. Every five days, we're analyzing a script. Then after 100 days is up, we go into reverse screenwriting. That's right. Um, correct. So in the, the scriptorium, you hand copy a script, one page per day. And then every five days, you get a new script to read and analyze. And then after 100 days, you finish 20 screenplays, you finish the hand copying of your script, and you're ready to go into reverse screenwriting. So if your script is not 100 pages, you work it out. You know how many pages to copy so you end the hand copying around the same time you finish your scripts tom asks can lois write her creative screenplay based on a novel potentially hers yes absolutely she can do that provided there is not already a draft because i want you to create it is creative screenwriting i want you to create from scratch right from the hip this is not a rewriting exercise okay um that's important. So write a brand new, fresh screenplay. Final testimonial coming from Tracy in New Zealand. And she, in the second bit, she gets company from little Audrey. Here we go. Oh, so I've finished the 20 scripts and I've started um, reverse screenwriting. Um, so yeah, it's a whole different ball game, really. <laughs> um, and the 20 scripts, uh, I, it, some of them I didn't like personally, but I still got a lot out of doing the, um, the scriptorium with them because, um, it was almost, it was harder to write for films that I didn't particularly like. <laughs> or connect with as such, but there were some hot scripts in there and it became so evident, um, you know, which ones uh, just were so much easier to read and visualize and uh, Avatar blew me away because it was so descriptive and so meticulous. It, it kind of was intimidating, <laughs> um, but, but you know, knowing the person who wrote it um, and the sort of length of time you spent researching and developing it um it's not surprising and then you see other films that don't have the um that sort of level of description um that still got made no i i i didn't at all actually i want to do that i you want to do that you can do that with me um so i made quite a quick decision actually because i thought if i faff around um, it's not going to help. So I just made a decision and didn't second guess myself and went with it. And it, I ended up choosing a movie that I love because I thought I'm going to be looking at it over and over and over. <laughs> and um, I want to be, you know, uh, happy in the world that I'm going to be living in for a while. So um, yeah, I chose Rain Man, which I love. So um, yeah, I'm pleased about that. Repetition, repetition, I repetition, mostly. Him. You can talk to him, he's right there. Um, yeah, so repetition and um, and also just trusting in the process, I think, <laughs> because there's a lot of, um, uh, also having 
the partner on board to touch base with um, has been great because you don't get that immediate feedback like you would in a classroom situation and people are used to having that. So it's kind of, it's more, this you sort of have some sort of breakthrough half, I don't know, a third or a half of the way in and you go, oh, I get why we're doing this and I get why it doesn't matter that there's not someone at the other end going, no, this, yes, no, yes. So it's more, um, it's more just training, okay. training and repetition. I think and you do realize when you get to the end of it the benefits especially when you have to sit down for someone else's script and do it it's just so much easier than it was for me to do that than it was before starting that process yeah <laughs>